It started with a deputy worried about a driver and ended when this woman allegedly shot that deputy's gun while in his holster. That was nuts and I feel bad for that guy. New at 5, eyewitnesses told us what it took to finally arrest her. That Seminole County deputy says he had no idea the woman was high on drugs when he first approached her car and would grab his gun and pull the trigger. Luckily, no one was hurt. Channel 9's Jeff Love Coolidge live outside that jail where the suspect went before a judge this afternoon. And Jeff, deputies say they've had several run-ins with her in the past. That's right, Martha. This is not the first time that Danielle Trudell has been here at the Seminole County Jail. Now, after the incident, she told investigators that she's an addict and doesn't remember anything. Tonight, she's being held here without bond. Appearing out of it and in a white jumpsuit, indicating she is a high-risk inmate, Danielle Trudell went before the judge. Deputies say Trudell was high on drugs when she resisted arrest and grabbed a deputy's gun, shooting off a round in the parking lot of FEC Home Loans near 434 and Markham Woods Wednesday morning. Well, it was pretty crazy. Carl Hendricks took these pictures of the action outside his office. He says they first heard sirens outside. And then almost immediately a pop. And we all in the office said, that's a gunshot. Deputies had initially responded to an accident down on Markham Woods. When they moved the cars up the hill here, they noticed the woman was slumped over the wheel in her car here in the parking lot. The deputy says he noticed Trudell was under the influence and refused repeated orders. At one point, the deputy jumped into her car to keep the vehicle from hitting parked cars or going over the hill. He eventually was able to get both the car and Trudell under control. He's kind of like in a bear hug with her. That's when she is, is able to reach around. She gets a hand on his holster and is able to fire one round through the holster into the ground. According to the arrest report, Deputy Cummings felt the percussion and heat on his right leg from the round firing. After she fired the gun, deputies say Trudell took off running. Kind of just ran out and saw her getting tackled and trying to get away, and it was a little scary. And in Trudell's car, they found bags of fentanyl in her purse. It took several deputies to get her under control, we're told. And authorities say that some of these people that are on these, hot, these powerful drugs can do things that they normally couldn't do. Reporting live in Seminole County, Jeff Left Coolidge, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.